Okay, I wanted to just do a really quick video on why we can have the um, compound PF5. But in the same column of the periodic table, we can't have an F5. This has to do with the overall size of the atom and the um, in the orbits that are available for these things to hybridize with when forming bonds. So remember that phosphorus is in the group 3, so that means that its shells are the 3s, 3p, and 3d. Alternatively, nitrogen is a group 2 atom. So it has the 2s and the 2p, but there's no such thing as 2d's. 2 is too small for the d-shape. What that means then is that, well, phosphorus can promote one electron into a D shell and then take on a 3s P3D hybridization containing five shells that can all, or electron sites that can all be available for bonding with one fluorine each. The, the hybridization with the most shells that nitrogen can form is the sp3 hybridization. This at best creates four sites for bonds, not five, and so this molecule can't happen. Essentially the two size shell is too small for hybridizations. that would involve a D-shell. So that's just one more thing that our new model of the atom will help us to explain.